again, my name's Gabe Zolno. This is the 29th of January, 2019. Article in the New York Post, written by the Associated Press, published on the 29th of January, 2019. Title, Lyft Rider Arrested in Killing of Pregnant Driver in Arizona. You'll see a photograph, I assume it's this booking picture of uh, Fabian Durazzo. You think that he was here illegally? Huh? The reason that I asked that question is there's no mention of his immigration status because they don't obviously want people to know. I'm betting he's an illegal. Tempe, Arizona, a Lyft rider in suburban Phoenix stabbed his pregnant driver, killing the woman and her unborn child before stealing her vehicle and driving nearly 150 miles before being arrested near the California line, authorities said Monday. Tempe police said Christina Hoato, 39, was in her third trimester of pregnancy and is survived by two other young children. They say Fabian Durazo, 30, was being held at La Paz County Jail on suspicion of two counts of first-degree murder and one count each of kidnapping and armed robbery, authorities said. You know, if this happened in New York, they couldn't charge him for two counts of murder because you can kill an unborn and it's not murder. Absolutely insane. I had said that that idiotic law is going to really screw up the law, more screwed up than the law already is screwed up. It was unclear Monday if DeRosa has a lawyer, yet who could speak on his behalf. Hawato was working early Sunday at a Lyft driver when she received a pickup request in West Tempe, said Sergeant Ron Elcock, a police spokesman. DeRosa allegedly attacked Hawato when they arrived in an apartment complex about a half mile away, and he fled in her SUV. Police officers responded to the apartment complex at 1.30 a.m. after receiving reports of a woman screaming in a parking lot. They found Iwata suffering from multiple stab wounds. She was transported to a hospital where both she and the unborn baby died. Arizona Department of Safety officials used GPS tracking to locate the stolen SUV on Interstate 10 near Quartzsite, about 25 miles from the Arizona-California line and Durazo was taken into custody Sunday afternoon. Police say they don't believe Durazo and Hawata knew each other, and a motive for the fatal stabbing remains undetermined. Well, how about robbery, huh? You think that might be a motive? And stealing the vehicle, you think that might be a motive, huh? Throughout our careers as officers, we have incidents that really touch our hearts and stay with you throughout your careers. Hillcock said at a news conference. This is definitely one of those incidences that really is going to affect the police department for a long time. A statement from officials with San Francisco-based life said, quote, We were shocked and deeply saddened to learn of this tragedy, and our thoughts are with the family and friends of the victim. Life said it is assisting with the investigation, adding that the passenger's account has been permanently deactivated. Now, that was really not a necessary comment to make, was it? Again, I'm betting that uh, this murderer, Fabian Durazo, is a border jumper. You see, it's incidents like this that need to be highlighted, but they're not. They'll talk about the incident, but they won't talk about the background. We need to know if Fabian Durazo is in fact a border jumper. I'm betting that he is. I'll attach the link. You take a look at it. You let me know what you think. Yeah, sure as hell know what I think, don't you?